Hello, hello, hi guys, good morning, welcome back to a new video. In this one, it's problem 3804. Count substring starting and ending with giving character. It just simply says that you are given a string S and a character C. And we have to return the total number of a substrings. Again, substring, you know, a part or a portion of a string is a substring that starts and ends with a C. So, for example, in this case, A, B, A, D, A. You want all the substrings that start and end with a a. So you can simply see A, A, A. This is one, this is these substrings. Then A, A and A, A. Then I can simply say A, A. These are all the possible substrings. And I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is the answer. Now, uh, for example, let's say it asks Z. Then Z, Z, Z. So one thing, if I ask you and tell you, if this problem also, if I compare with this Another example, then again for this one, two, three, three substring, Z, Z, then Z, 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 right, and then Z again six. Can you just think of what's the difference between these two? Nothing, because these elements never matters. These element never matters. I just want how many number of substrings are there with A as starting and ending as starting and ending so i am never concerned about what is in between them i'm only concerned about starting and ending that's it so i just need the characters itself so even if i remove them they will never matter for me never ever so ideally both of these are same okay if i consider them both of these are same now what now what if i ask you how many number of substrings are possible in a string you can simply say one thing bro i can simply see z z z if I am at this location, I just usually go and check for all the substring previously. From this index, I can have, I can make this one in one substring. From this index, I can make one substring like this and another like this. So, what is the answer then? What is the answer then? So, if I ask you, if I have three elements, let's name the indexing also. Let's index one, two, or let's say, let's name the indexing zero, one, and two. Okay, I have marked them with indexes. I had three Z's. And I have to now go and find out number of substrings possible. So from this index one, I can have, I can easily see, I had one substring possible. From the index two, I know I have two elements before. So I will have three, sorry, I will have two more substrings from this index. So in total, so far I have got one substring and two substrings. And let's say, let's say, let's increasing the complexity. Let's say I had one more Z. So from this index three of the Z, I would have one, two, three, three more substrings. So you can simply say, just keep on going. Again, you know that the, at last you can have at max n minus one, n minus one. So Rn, um, even if I come back and ask you, like it seems like you are trying to go to one plus two plus three plus one and so forth. But Rn, uh, by this simple example, you can see answer so far is one plus two, but you, so by you, so you are saying answer is three. But I can simply see answer is 6. So you are wrong. Bro, we took everything. We just missed single ones. Because we can also have individuals. Individual. One length substring also we can have. So simply, how many one length substring we can have? If I have three Z characters, I can have three one length substrings of Z. So at last add a plus N. So, so far we realized that if I have, if I have N, if I have n characters of this character z n characters of this character z then my total number of substrings will be nothing but 1 plus 2 plus plus up till n this is the standard sum which we have seen in maths it sums up to n into n plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 by 2 and that's how you, it's a simple o of 1 operation in which you can simply give n to n plus 1 by 2. Again, remember, this n is the count is this n is the count of characters Z, count of characters C in the actual string S. In this, the count of character C, which is Z in our case, is actually 3. So, count is 3. In this case, also the count is actually 3. Right? And that's the answer for us. So, the code is very simple that you will simply iterate on all the characters and check. Okay, if the character you are iterating on is the character you wanted, then increase the count. And ultimately, I saw the the actual the case which we return is count into count plus one by two.
Again, please remember this formula. Sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. It's a very important formula which is very frequently used. So please, please, please remember that. You can you can argue with me, Aryan. I'll simply use uh, I'll simply trade on from 1 to n. I can simply add it. It's a O of n time, and that's O of n time. I can also see you are actually trading on O of n again. So I can simply use O of n time again. That's of no issue. Okay, yeah, correct. For this case, it's not an issue for you. But please, 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 this is a very important formula for maths used in DSA and CP. So please rem remember this formula. A small request. Cool. And that's how you simply return. These will be the number of subarrays for you, which are starting and ending with the same character, which is C for us. Thus, we saw the time here will be O of N. And because we are iterating on all the characters of the string, just to figure out what's the count of that character c inside the string s right and the space will be over fun because we are, we, are not, we, are not, we are not using any extra space at all cool thank you for watching goodbye take care bye it's an easy problem but we will see in all the four problems after this video bye bye